What is up guys? So I just want to show you guys this quick little tutorial that I did. Um, this was done a couple of years ago. So I had to take off the front glass camera, as you guys can see, the, the actual front digitizer, the front screen, and work my way inside and outside to remove this clip. So basically what this clip is, it's, how do I explain it? It's like an eye, eyelid clip. So basically it's got, it's got a groove that sits perfectly inside the phone, and to be able to pull it out, you have to bend it um, to remove it. So it's pretty much clipped in. So you can't just take it out, obviously, it would be too easy to do so. So you can see Hemi, here using the pliers and the going ham on this. So at this point, I was starting to scratch some of the, the back of the bezel um, and I, I started not to care because at, at the end of the day, it was a spare phone. It was just to me experiment a couple things and if it worked, I might've given it to someone. But you guys can see here, it finally, finally came out. So basically what I'm doing now is I'm just cleaning it up a little bit, um, trying to make everything look as good as it can. Um, I think I bent it a little bit too. Um, so that was another thing as well. So now this is me playing around with it, showing you guys the new piece um, and the old piece in a second. But basically guys, that, that was part of it. This, this, okay, just give you guys an idea, right? I've obviously sped this video up, you guys can see that. I took probably about 25 minutes throughout this whole video uh, to do this after removing obviously the front screen and things like that as well. The front screen is probably the easiest part of it. But this took so long to do guys so if you are deciding to do the outer layer of the iphone screen look i recommend paying someone to do it so if they know how to do it man i'd, I'd give it to them because it'll come back pretty much perfectly so this took me a lot of time i scratched the back of the phone i cracked oh like oh i pretty much bent the back bezel a little bit as well so this is me reinstalling the camera lens uh, putting it back in because now the outer shell was gone. So all I had to do was install my new one I think I bought the new one for about like five bucks on eBay and I think it was about two three dollars um, from yeah, Like China eBay So I bought this locally. I'm in Australia. So that's what it cost me. So again, just me putting everything back together and little pieces guys so I do recommend giving it to a repair store to do so if you don't have any experience the front screen but you, you'll see here in a second as well like the front screen is pretty easy to take out uh, it's a couple clips um, you do need a suction cup two screws and putting back the uh, the security clamp that's on there as well as you guys can see now like besides that that's pretty easy to do 
Again, you can do the same thing with the battery as well. If you want to replace the battery, you can do that. But, you know, under no discretion, I don't recommend you guys to do this. I am not a, an experienced repairer. So this is purely just my experience and my review of doing all of this. But you should see it hopefully in a second, how the screen looks once everything is reinstalled. So iPhone 6, iPhone 6S, iPhone 7, iPhone 8 is also very, very similar. iPhone 8 is slightly different because the actual lens is a lot bigger and it's connected with the actual case itself. So it's a bit more concave, whereas this one has a, uh, like a little lens holding it together instead of actually being a part of the rear. But yeah, let's kind of turn it on now, show you guys exactly what's going on, I'm trying to give it a little bit of clean around the bezel because it's got to be clean a bit later on. And the camera still works, which is great, but you guys can see there the little watermark, little dots. It's something permanent on the camera lens. So after doing this, and then after replacing it with a brand new replacement outer lens, because I, I'm pretty sure I, I, I thought in the beginning that it was just the outside layer that was causing it to do that. And then once I decided to remove the old one and then put the new one in, I found out that it was the actual camera itself, not the actual outer lens. So as you guys can see there, uh, that's a new one and then I'll be putting it on and that's it. So this is the next part. So this is me. A re Thanks for watching.